Okay. Hey, welcome everybody. Um, first, we're going to start with Karen Green. Is she here? Yeah, yeah. Yes, there you are. Sorry, I missed you. She's going to give an update on the Resident Appreciation Fund. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> You'll notice the staff is applauding in anticipation. <laughs> I want to thank everybody who has so generously contributed so far. Um, we have 191 units, that's apartments and cottages, and of those 91 of you have contributed so far, we have $40,950 to date, so you've just been wonderful, and, and I know that the holiday gifts are truly appreciated by the staff. Um, so just a reminder that the deadline is November 30th, and so that I can spend the weekend writing checks um, to all the staff. Um, reminder that, that this is totally voluntary. It's a gift to our staff. I put suggestions in the memo of how you might determine how much you want to give, but any contribution is very welcome. So thank you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to stop and ask. Thank you. Thank you. That's truly amazing. And every year, um, again, I say every year, I'm in awe by your generosity. And it really does make a difference to the staff. And I know how much they appreciate it. But just to echo um, your sentiments that it, it is voluntary and it is a gift. Um, and I think the staff the staff realize that, so it's certainly not an expectation, but thank you each year. So um, next up, we are um, Carly, gonna talk for a minute. Hello, guess who? I just wanna first of all, thank all of you so much for your cards, your condolences for my mom. You guys mean the world to me, you really do, and making the decision to retire has been a really hard one. Um, but I don't know if you heard, I just want to make sure I clarify, Mary Jane decided not to take the position. It is a, it's a big position, it's bigger than she kind of wanted to take on. So I will be here till the end of December. So you haven't really got rid of me yet. <laughs> but I do like when you come up to me and say, when you leave it, I'm like, well, <laughs> you got two more months of me now. And that we've got, I just wanted to uh, let you know that next Wednesday in here we're doing, we're going to change the name from fitness assessment to wellness checkup. If you haven't had one in a while and you want to do a wellness checkup, we are next Wednesday from 9 to 3, you can call me, 2118, to set up a time. But also while I'm here, if you don't want to do next Wednesday and you want to do a fall assessment risk, I will do those as well. The reason I'm putting it out there is because I was reading something yesterday. I was in Boston at Brigham, and one of the things they were talking about the most of high fall risk is when we start to lose our leg strength and what happens when we lose that leg strength, how we grab the rail more in the hallways, how balance is really off. And that's really, as a wellness coordinator, my number one thing is to keep you from falling, and that's keeping you strong in any which way we can make it work for you, you personally. So. If you want to sign up, there's no hands behind your back. I'm not going to force you. But at the same time is, if you do, let me know next Wednesday in here. But also, if you can't do Wednesday and you want to set something up with me privately, we can do that too. Now, November is exciting because the first Friday in November is our second kindness day. You'll be hearing more about that. And I moved the turkey chop to the Thursday instead of a Friday this year, but isn't today beautiful for a turkey trap? <laughs> so let's keep our prayers, that's like this. <laughs> but anyway, I look forward to our seventh turkey trap. Seven? Seven. Oh. Yeah, this was my seventh year at Brevewick, but this was our second, seventh turkey, turkey trap. Yeah. And so if you haven't been to one. 2018 was the first. What is it? 2018 was the first turkey trap. Yes, but also I did it the very first when I was here, that very first year. It is seven now. Yeah. What about Mike's uh, classes, which are helping you to not fall and that type of yeah. thing? Yeah, well, personal, I mean, physical therapy is a big thing. I think having a Mike on staff here is just a tremendous thing for you guys. The problem is with the physical therapy, sometimes you guys do it and then you, don't, you stop. 
You don't do all those exercises. Not that any of you ever do that, but I need you to keep doing it in any way we can. So I'm just putting it out there for you. It's available. And um, anything for me? No? Okay. Thank you, Carly. <laughs> so I think as you speak with Carly, end of November can easily turn into the end of January. 2025 is going to be a great year. <laughs> um, so we're actively searching for Carly's replacement. Carly's a big part of that. Um, so we're lucky that she's agreed to stay on a little bit longer and help us um, secure her replacement before she leaves. Um, so we're very fortunate in that aspect. Um, next up, I want to introduce uh, Hannah. So Hannah Sears is uh, Ashley's replacement as the activities director here. And um, I'm gonna let Hannah just say a little bit about yeah. herself. Um, but I can say, you know, in the first, we're, we're on week two. two. Um, <laughs> so I think she's uh, doing a great job picking it up. So hopefully you've seen her around. She's just kind of trying to observe and see how things go. And um, also, we, Ashley, you may see her around too. So Ashley's been really great with getting Hannah on board um, and spending whatever time that she can with us to make sure she understands some of the systems and processes and some of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes as well. So um, Hannah. Yeah, absolutely. So first, I'd like to um, thank you all for being so welcoming. Um, sorry. <laughs> Got to get the gist of everything. Uh -huh. um, so being so welcoming and welcoming me into your community. Um, so I'm coming from the childcare world. I actually knew Ashley um, prior to coming to uh, Beverwick. Um, so I'm excited to be here, excited to grow and learn. Um, thank you all so much. Mm. Uh, so some other staffing updates that we have. Um, Tim Austin has put in his notice um, and he is gonna be semi-retiring. Um, on November 15th, so Tim Austin is our facilities director, so we are actually look, uh, actively looking for that position as well. Um, so November 15th, as I said, will be his last date here, so if you see Tim, wish him well, um, and I will put, uh, I'll put a memo in the um, boxes as well. And Tim is, um, He's not actually retiring, but he's decided he's not working full time anymore. So he's just gonna do some part time work um, and focus on other areas. So, um, <clears throat> and then um, Matt Galka and dining. So he went out for surgery. So he had a pretty um, hefty surgery. He just got released from the hospital yesterday. Um, so he's doing well. So I just wanted to report that out, and he will be out probably another four to five weeks. Um, so, um, you know, dining is, is a little short and then Len's going on vacation next week as well. So, um, but we've got some support coming in um, to help out. So uh, all of this we knew about ahead of time. So it's, a, it's not a surprise. So we're doing the best we can, but um, just wanted to put that out there. So Len will only be gone for a week and then um, Matt will be back before the holidays. So we'll be happy to have him back. Um, next on the agenda, we need to vote on the bylaws. Um, so you've received the um, latest iteration of the bylaws. We put that in. We put out one um, copy. Everybody had an opportunity to comment. We actually had a meeting. People could bring their comments to. Based on that feedback, they were revised once again. So that final um, revision, we hope, incorporated most of the suggestions, or at least we're at a high agreement, I think. So uh, I guess we'll find out. So if we could do it by a raise of hands, everybody approving the current bylaw revisions. Okay, I'm gonna say that's a majority. So we will say a majority passed bylaw. Okay. Um, other updates, we had the COVID and uh, flu vaccine on uh, Monday, 1014. So thank you everybody. I heard it went very, very smoothly. Um, renovation updates. So the lobby carpet, they're gonna begin the week of November 11th and it's gonna be four nights. So they're gonna be doing that in the nighttime starting around five-ish. So um, <clears throat> they will start, when I say five, it takes them about an hour to an hour and a half to set up. 
so people can still be in the area. Um, and then the areas leading from the dining room, they won't actually start until after, was it 7.30 they said yesterday? And eight, yeah. 7.30, eight o'clock. Um, so that will leave time for people to get out of the dining room, go where they need to go. Um, so that, that whole week, it'll just be those nights. We looked at the calendar to make sure there wasn't anything in here on those nights. So, um, you know, we picked that week purposefully. Any questions on how that's gonna work? So they'll do what they need to do on night. They'll put down whatever they need to put down so we can use those areas in the day. So it's gonna be the lobby area that extends right to in front of the dining room. Okay. <clears throat> also, we're gonna be working on the front desk area. So a lot of that is more behind the desk um, that you'll notice, but you will notice some things with that, but we were just trying to make that space a little bit more efficient and help with the workflow there. So that's gonna be starting um, a little bit later, um, but it shouldn't be mu much of a disruption to you. That'll be kind of like a one day, two day thing. Well, so they say, <laughs> let's hope it is. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what else do we have? Shuffleboard court, it's done, looks good. Um, putting green, supposed to be starting any day now. Uh, hopefully before the ground freezes, they're getting that done. Um, and second floor valances and art remaining artwork. Well, some of the remaining artwork will be Friday. They're coming. Any questions on any further? Yeah. Any progress on the gliders for the dining chairs? Yeah. So the, the what? The they're gliders on the rear dining they're chairs. They're on there. So there are gliders that are on there. So the dining chairs that are that we have, whatever is on there, is, it is what it is. There's nothing more that we can put on the chairs. Check on the chairs that downstairs in Dorothy's room. <clears throat> there were extra gliders. Okay, so the comment was check on the gliders in Dorothy's room? The prior dining chairs all had gliders on the back. Mm -hmm. And the, the remnants of chairs downstairs mm -hmm. in, in the lounge. Yep. They have the gliders, they have the gliders on them, correct? Yeah. That's what we were told, they were already on. Yes, I don't know, the we'll chairs look. don't glide. <laughs> yeah, so it is a different chair, so the chair is a different weight, so it might feel different than the old dining room chairs, but it does have the gliders that, were, that are on there, as well as the casters in the front. Okay, any other questions on that? Um, so we have our Halloween party on the 31st. So the theme this year is name that tune. So come dressed as your favorite song. Get creative. Um, if you're gonna participate in the costume portion, please sign up at the front desk. We'll incorporate that tune into our celebrations. Um, and then we'll be playing, the, the game will be name that tune. And we'll be playing that um, after we do our, our uh, costume parade. So please come, it's always a big event. We have a good time. Um, I did wanna recognize Elaine Sales, who's made a donation to um, our DVD collection and um, our movies, where she wanted um, Oscar, she wants to call it the Oscar donation. Um, so for the past 10 years of the three big Oscars, best movie, best actor, best actress, and purchasing those um, DVDs for us to have. So I just wanted to acknowledge that, it was a nice donation. And I'm not sure if she's here, but thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, we have the Taste of Beverwick, which is a marketing event that we're doing. That's gonna be done on November 6th in this room from one to three. So I just wanted everyone to be aware. Um, and that's uh, you know a nice event that we invite people to um, that are on our wait list to come and experience um, some dining. There's also the Eddie story that's gonna be put on by Philanthropy on November 6th at 3 p.m. Carly already mentioned the turkey trot. Uh, Corey is presenting tonight, right? Yes. Seven o'clock? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see, resident satisfaction survey. So we just finished entering all the satisfaction surveys um, Friday afternoon, so I don't have anything to present to you today, but at the next meeting that will be the focus. But our response rate was 82%, so that's really, really good. 
Um, so thank you for all your feedback. We're going through all of that now. And what we're gonna do with that um, is each department will certainly receive their department's feedback. Um, you know, we'll review everything as a whole as well. Um, and then we create action plans that we review quarterly, or we review monthly at our leadership meetings, at our quality meetings, um, but your feedback generates our focus. So um, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to do that and that at the next meeting, once we have time to kind of drill through all of that, review it with the department heads, we'll present that and present where our areas of focus will be. Any questions on that? Okay. Um, Oh, next month's town meeting, speaking of that, is going to be on Tuesday the 19th instead of Wednesday. It's just being moved one day early. Um, I'm taking my daughter to see Taylor Swift. So <laughs> I and my 14-year-old daughter, thank you very much for moving the meeting. Um, <clears throat> so just watch for that on the calendars. Uh, so a couple of maintenance issues. I just want to update you on the cottage driveways. We're going to be waiting until spring to get those done. The erosion study um, is going to be, we're hoping the work that needs to be done with the erosion on the hill on the fire road, off the fire road uh, next week. So hopefully that moves forward. They anticipate it'll take a week to complete, um, but next week is the anticipated start date. Any questions on that? You may see some machinery around. They are gonna be laying things down on the, um, the fire road itself um, to protect it because the machinery will tear up that road. Um, so you will see some equipment for that week period. Yes? For people who walk that route, are they, is it going to be shut off from walking for that period? <clears throat> and uh, the question was for people who walk that route, will it be shut off? I'm not sure. My guess is likely while the equipment is uh, um, being used during the day, it may be. Um, I'm thinking they're probably going to want that, but we can find out for sure from them when they start the work. Um, but when they're done for the day, I would anticipate it might be open and things are out of the way. All of you. Yes. Is there any plan to retrieve some of the nice plants that are there? The question is, is there any plan to retrieve some of the nice plants that are there? And yeah, I think we're speaking. The question is about the hillside. We've heard that there's going to be gravel put there. So there's... I that's what you were talking about. I'm sorry. It's oh, 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 oh. I know it's a different area. Sorry, sorry. But other side of the fire road, yeah. closest to the building, yeah. it's that slope that can never dry right. and that there have been issues with. And when they mow it, they have the tracks in there. So there was plants that were placed there. So yes, Tim was talking about putting something in there um, like gravel, but we, we don't have any definitive plan to do anything there, but when we would, yes, we could certainly relocate plants that are there. Yeah. Yeah. Any questions about the work that'll be done on the hill? <laughs> yeah. Sort of related. Is there ever going to be a compost place where people can put the weeds they might pull from their gardens? We used to have one and now we don't. So the question was about, about a compost place. We haven't discussed that, but I could certainly bring it up about, um, and when you had the compost place, was it back by the shed where, in the garden, near the, where the gardens were? No, no, no right off, right off of the, the uh, trail. Okay. It, it was back that road behind the uh, sewer building. Okay. So we can look for a new area for the, um, for the compost place. Yes, I'll, I can discuss that, yeah. Don't get rid of the one that's there now by the gardens, please. There, that's also another area by the gardens, okay. Any other questions on that? Okay. Um, <clears throat> generators, so they, uh, they're actually here today at the terrace, so that's progressing along um, on getting that up and running. Um, and then evaluating the next step, which um, as I pointed out before, the next step would be cottages and trying to get um, some something there as well. So that, that'll be step two. Uh, the retention pond. I said pond, I owe somebody a dollar. So um, the detention basin, 
Um, so I think I reported out at this meeting, it may have been another one, but just that, that area, uh, that basin area is not a pond. It wasn't meant to be a pond. It's meant to be um, a runoff space and it's very shallow. Um, so we are gonna have some growth in there. But the question has been, what do we need to do to make sure A, it's functioning as it should, as a runoff base and a detention basin, and we're not clogging things up with overgrowth? Um, and you know, is there anything we can do to make it more aesthetically pleasing? Um, so that we've been trying to get in touch for several months with the, um, the individual who did the clean out about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. Um, to no, um, to no avail. So we're moving on from him and just trying to get somebody who can give us some guidance. Also talking to the town, because I believe the town is telling us we really should be inspecting that at some regular basis to make sure it's functioning um, as it should. So we wanna make sure we're complying with that as well. So um, no new updates, but just something that we continue to work on. And that's all I had on my agenda. Does anybody have anything they wanna bring up? Yes. The hot tub. Hot tub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Coming. <laughs> so um, I know it's been out forever. So there's been a couple of things that went wrong with it back to back. Um, so the hot tub, we had to just order a new um, motor. So that should be coming shortly. All of the paperwork's been processed, but it's been, let's repair it, let's repair it. No, it's it's beyond repair, it needs a new motor. So that's where we're at. And hopefully that's the last issue with the hot tub for a long time. <laughs> Any other questions? This is a quiet group today, quick meeting. I guess everybody just wants to hear the joke. All right, we ready? Okay. <clears throat> Bob was in trouble, he forgot his wedding anniversary. His wife was really ang angry and she told him tomorrow morning, I expect to find a gift in the driveway that goes from zero to 206 seconds and it better be there. <laughs> the next morning he got up early and left for work. When his wife woke up, she looked out the window and sure enough, there was a gift box wrapped in the middle of the driveway. Confused, the wife put on a robe and ran out to the driveway, brought the box back to the house and she opened it and found a new bathroom scale. Bob's been missing since Friday. Thank you guys. Have a good afternoon. <laughs>